Well, hopefully we won't have any issues with preparing for preview afterwards. But today is a very special day, because today marks the end of the world. Hello, this is Ricky Klein, the Cassette Master, and in this video, we will celebrate the end of the world, because today is December the 21st, 2012. Oh, by the way, P.S. My computer is a piece of crap. Do you think the video is supposed to look like this? Do you think it's supposed to look all purple and pink like this? No. The tint is off. But that's because of courtesy of my computer. I was about to use Windows Movie Maker earlier, but guess what? Windows Movie Maker had so much mess ups with the video, the worst thing, it was the most ridiculous thing in ever, so at least um, the YouTube direct uploader takes the video without it cutting out all the time. So I don't know if, I, if there's a way to correct the tint. This thing is a piece of crap. But what do you expect? It's a computer. Yeah, what are computers? Pieces of crap. Anyway, today is December the 21st, 2012, and I'm making this video with the YouTube Direct Uploader. <clears throat> I have some coffee here. Don't underestimate my power from Luke Skywalker. <clears throat> so anyway, this is one of those videos where if you don't if you don't like watching those vi kind of videos and make you say you wasted so much minutes and so much seconds of my life, just go ahead and stop watching now cuz this is one of those videos. This is one of those videos of someone that has no life as many people say someone that basically makes videos that are not worth watching. At least this video isn't worth watching. I mean, if someone's looking for a tape recorder demonstration, well, this video isn't quite for you. Although, you never know. I might end up demonstrating a tape recorder on the end of the world. I might just as well do that. Mine actually, um, I mean, I got one right here, actually. Maybe I could just go ahead and show one real quick. It's a, it's a Concord F50, also known as the National or Panasonic RQ206. Mine's the Concord labeled version, but um, it's obviously made by Matsushita. And on the inside on the circuit board printed is RQ206, the obvious Panasonic model number. I replaced a few capacitors, but it didn't seem to bring much improvement. It seemed like it wasn't recording as strong as it was supposed to. But it does still record at a decent level, I guess. Communities. And the purpose of the task force is, is to reach consensus on what the major national level recommendations can. Exactly. How's that for the end of the world? <clears throat> that was recorded with this recorder off a thing on the internet. So, let's take a good look at it. Okay, so I, you are seeing a tape recorder presentation after. Look at its, quote, space age styling for the, you know, 1970s or whatever. It's the 1970s take on <laughs> space age. <laughs> look at that. And it's rounded like that. It's, it's just classic. <laughs> It's a gray color, dark gray color. It's a pretty cool old recorder, AC bias. That will made up of representatives from the archival library uh, community as well as wherever possible from the creative and industry communities. And the purpose of the task force is, is to reach consensus on what the major national level recommend. Anyway, so we got to see an old vintage recorder on the end of the world. I hope you enjoyed seeing that recorder on the end of the world. I don't know how long I want to make this purple tinted stupid computer video, but...
Maybe I'll keep videoing until the world ends, you know? <laughs> anyway, I just... I've been looking forward to this day. I'm sure many have been looking forward to this day. <laughs> Comes as no surprise that nothing's happening. <laughs> anyway. So, the main calendar said, May, no, no, December... 21st, 2012, December 21st, 2012, 12, 12. the end of the world, <laughs> some say it's the apocalypse, <laughs> some say it's this polar shift, <laughs> this, 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 oh my, <laughs> okay, Anyway, so, of course, as one would expect, nothing's happening. Wait, I look out the window, where's the apocalypse? Where's the UFO? <laughs> anyway, it's 8.25 a.m., uh, whatever time zone this is, I'll just, Arkansas time zone, whatever that is. I know, I sound so ignorant everyone's going to start trolling and laughing and making fun of me as much as they possibly can because that's what happens on the internet once there's any small sign of ignorance the trolls start storming in storming in storming in insulting making fun but sometimes it's funny to read those comments anyway but yes I think it's Central Standard Time It's actually more, probably not 826, the beta clock is set a minute off for some dumb reason. I thought I set it to the cell phone, but apparently I didn't. The cell phone, oh gosh, four new messages, memory is low. <sighs> oh gosh, another one of those things that says I won some prize, yeah right. And the other messages are ones that were already looked at a long time ago, well how dare it say Four new messages. There's one new message, stupid cell phone. Anyway, let's, um, I'm going to go ahead and delete my messages here. Now, being that the YouTube direct uploader has no pause feature, P.S. YouTube, put a freaking pause feature on the direct uploader, will ya? Anyway, I'm going to... I know it's an old cell phone and it's not supposed to be green, but that's the way the computer likes it. Eh, sure. All the red messages. Mm, yes. So I deleted them. So the last ones were ones I apparently did not um, read, but I they were so short there was no point clicking on them. I just read them right off the screen was, sure, and okay. So, um... <clears throat> Might need to put this on my charger soon. It's amazing the old battery will still hold a charge fine. Being this, this, this unit was bought five years ago. <clears throat> anyway, so what we got on the. I didn't even check the freaking time. The original purpose of me getting out my cell phone here. 829.828. I need to set that beta clock. If you're wondering what a beta clock is, Spad Spare can tell you. Eh, from a Sony SL5000, the clock on it. <sighs> anyway, I got a pair of scissors to celebrate the end of the world. What else do I got for the end of the world here? Oh, oh. Was that the aliens? No. That was just me displaying my annoyance for my heater being uh, whisked up by the cord of this telephone thing and and the cord being under every other single cord you can possibly imagine, making it hard to fetch. Basically, Murphy's Law is just running things a lot of times. Remember this? telephone communication device thing 
It uses very basic things. It uses originally, of course, Alexander Graham Bell with the invention of the telephone, but then also you got the carbon microphone, an inventor an invention by Thomas Edison. And I got oh wow, the cord is of course constricted. I'm glad I tied knots in these cords. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. <laughs> Do you ever get these out completely these are like not gonna happen because they're so tangled. I'm going to put the microphone, this microphone for making the video. I'm hoping this video will even come through. I mean, I can imagine the air ha 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 happening and having to redo the entire video. That would be, that would, it's, it's, it, would it would get to the point, it would make me very angry. Very angry, and I haven't had any breakfast this morning aside from some coffee, so the anger would be multiplied. Because whenever I haven't had something to eat, I'm, my fuse for anger is just extremely, extremely short. You may have seen some of my videos and uh, seen what that anger is like. And KO772 returns, saw it one time and made a video making fun of it or something like that. What was that one about advertise YouTube something and advertising something like that. I don't know. Anyway. The microphone of the tele of the of the of the, of the video was put up to the speaker of one of the phones and I'm like speak to the carbon microphone and you can hear the distinctive sound of the carbon microphone and then put to the earpiece of the telephone. The interesting thought is that it's direct current to go try to put regular AC audio through a diode and you get a lot of distortion. Anyway. <clears throat> I was planning on making a celebratory video for a long time, celebrating the end of days, the end of the world, the apocalypse, what have you. Basically, in other words, celebrating December 21st, 2012, knowing that nothing would happen so that I'd be able to be here to, to make a video about it. <laughs> so it's the end of the world as we know it. It's the end of the world as we know it. And I feel fine. It's the end of the world as we know it. It gets some resonant frequencies that make it go strong enough to clip. Uh, that might have been resonant. It's the end of the world as we know it. And I feel fine. By our ego. Of course, everyone knows that song. And it's why I've been having it in my head for the past couple of days or so. Well, for today and for yesterday, sing, singing it aloud a lot and having it stuck in my head because this is the end of the world. I honestly know it. So anyway, um, this video is a, soon to be over 15 minutes long. And um, I wish the computer would just get the right tint on the video. It's so stupid. At least it's not doing like, like Windows Movie Maker. The because if you saw that video about planned obsolescence that I did before this video, actually before the video before this video, um, 
You, you remember all the video mess ups going insane? The video just acting so ridiculous, as one commenter <laughs> said, and I love this comment. It looks like you're broadcasting out of a spaceship. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> that fits it perfectly. It does look like it's from a spaceship being the video like that. But anyway, that that video mess up is because of um, Windows Movie Maker's relationship with the video capture card. Actually, whenever I was doing it, I tried going to the direct uploader. It was doing that same thing on the direct uploader too. So it wasn't just Windows Movie Maker's relationship with the video capture card. It was the the computer in general's relationship. If not the capture card itself, I don't know. But basically, I just say it's the computer. Because computers cause so many annoyances, it comes as no surprise that the computer is a computer. At least, it's not doing all those insane things to the video in this video, except for one thing, of course, is changing the tint. You know, this is supposed to be brown but it's not exactly brown and my face isn't supposed to be pink so yeah there's some problems there's a big contrast between the way it looks on my camcorder screen and the way it looks on the computer's screen <clears throat> But, it's the end of the world. So, what does it matter when the world is ending? So anyway, this is a video. I don't know how long I'll go on. I'm already 17 minute mark. Is anyone going to actually waste their time watching this video? This video is a waste. At least the length of it is. Perhaps a smaller version saying, ha ha, nothing's happening, would have been maybe not that much of a waste, but some may have still considered it a waste. But a video 17 minutes of me just going on and on and on about things that nobody cares about, that is a waste. No one will be interested in this video. No one. But even though nobody will be interested in this video and even though this video is a complete waste it's still fun to do it's still fun to make so I might as well continue making this video because it is fun Anyway, what else should I do to celebrate the end of the world? The end of the world. The end of the world. I just try to go this way. The end. The end of the world. There we go. It's the end of the world. I want to try putting the microphone directly up against my voice box, against my larynx. I put it on upside down. I'm stupid. I'm so stupid. This is a message to you all. It is the apocalypse. The end of the world. Today is December the 21st, 2012. This is the end of the world. I hope you enjoyed Time on Earth. Because now it is the end of the world. You probably couldn't understand anything I said. Oh, soup. If Evan saw this video and heard me say soup after I burped, he wouldn't understand.
and he would probably be the only other soul that would understand. It's the... Oh gosh, my monitor turned off. Can you believe it? I went ahead and wiggled the mouse and the monitor, or moved the mouse and the monitor turned back on, but goodness gracious. <laughs> Stupid, stupid. You don't see me pointing. Stupid, stupid. Anyway. Let's take the camera and show different things. Remember, this computer is ridiculous. Look at this. Yep. The headphone broke off at an airport on the first day of 2011. Luckily, the guy there had tape, and we were able to fix the headphone. Well, here's my pink workshop. Looks girly, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Here's my Tanberg speaker. Made in Norway. Unbelievable that I managed to even find that thing in the United States. It was probably, probably someone went to Norway or somewhere in Europe, bought them, and took them back to the States because I don't think they would have been sold here originally. But I found them at a flea market for six dollars. Gosh, it's it's it's, it's so dark. And there's. It's supposed to be a blue color. It looks kind of greenish on there. On the video. Of course, you can't see anything because the pixelation, once there's movement, it pixelizes, being that it's the um, direct uploader. There's the beta clock. It's not supposed to be green. It's supposed to be blue. If it says 841, that means it's 842, if not early 843. I don't know how the phenomenon happened where I set it back in time because I was trying to set it to my cell phone. That's typically what I'll try to do at least. Maybe it was... Never mind. Yeah, there's the pink. Pinkness. Remember that. That's... All these remember statements are assuming that you even watch the videos. I should be more like, here's the power supply, blah, 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 because probably only a few have actually seen. Especially if there's a first timer watching this video. They wouldn't remember any of it. I'll stare right into this lamp. Notice how it's pink? It's supposed to be incandescent color, but instead it's just pink. Okay. There's a liar. Made by my brother in 1998. That's, of course, made with my mouth. There's Big Bubba. Anyway, let's take a look outside. So where's the apocalypse? Doesn't look like the end of days out there. Ah, of course, I got my heater running right here. That's why I hear that constant sound. It's a bad nader anyway. This video is useless. Absolutely useless. It's, 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 it's almost 25 minutes long already. It's longer than a standard size episode of a TV show. Can you believe it? Longer than that. It's longer than a standard episode of a TV show, but it's full of nothing but stupidity and waste. Absolute stupidity and woe. <sighs> Don't go there. 
Anyway. Uh, why would anyone even watch this? Why am I filming this? I mean, yeah, it's fun, sure, sure, it's fun, but why don't, but do I want people to watch it? I guess I do. At least. I do like it when people watch. Of course, everyone likes it when people watch their videos. It's just standard human psychology. You know? Oh, wow. But then at the same time, who would watch it? No one! This General Electric is recorder is one of the longest recorders that I've had. Like this particular one I've had since 2004. Basically was the start of my collection, you know, you could say. It's basically the start of my collection is this one. But, lo and behold, I've barely ever used it in 2004. I used it some, but not very many times. The reason was was because it had a dirty record play switch. But I didn't know that was the problem. I thought the connection to the head was loose. I checked it. It was not. I did not know what was going on. It wasn't until the musician, or Miguel, told me years later, while on YouTube, to spray it with WD-40. And then I sprayed it with WD-40. And the problem was gone like that. Yes, you can see it in the picture, too. And it was incredible. It was a work of genius. But he told me that. It was just like magic. Isn't that insane? Oh, it's almost like looking into infinity. Oh, that's weird, but it then goes down to blackness. Why does it go to blackness? Why isn't it super bright and extreme? Maybe it's because of the slow response time. But this is a lot like looking through a bunch of mirrors. Except you're not, you know, in the way obscuring your view looking down to infinity. So it's really, really crazy except you can't see all the way down to infinity because there's still a limit to the point. My camera was being a piece of crap. Just touch your finger on the standby slash lock switch with the most slight amount of force ever, and it will turn the thing off. can and should be, can and should be, for inclusion in the national... What happened was not just that standby switch deal. My camera's battery, lo and behold, went dead. When I first turned my camera on, which, by the way, had just recently been charged, 
believe was at, I think, 135, 134 minutes, it said on the battery. But I don't, I don't know, quite obviously, from the timer on the video, not even near that amount of time has passed, yet lo and behold, the battery was dead. And that's one thing that really annoys me, is whenever the little thing that tells you how much battery left is anything but accurate. Anything but accurate. So I'm now putting audio through the Concord F50 cassette recorder in record mode, but live putting it through and out to the computer so I can still put voice narration onto the tape with the absence of a video signal. Well, I'll soon, be, I'll soon be ending this clipped audio video, clipped because of the computers being overdriven. But before that, I will probably rewind this and play some of it back so you can hear directly how this recorder sounds anyway. It isn't the best microphone in the world. It's kind of a cheaper one. I can even turn the motor off, turn them back on. You can hear the little static from the interference from the motor. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Happy Apocalypse, everyone. The computer is being overdriven. But before that, I will probably rewind this and play some of it back so you can hear directly how this recorder sounds anyway. It isn't the best microphone in the world. It's kind of a cheaper one. Come back on. You can hear the little static from the interference from the motor. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Happy Apocalypse, everyone.